It's time, y'all. Are you ready? We're finally going to talk about him. V look up. Are you ready? V look up is a pivotal function for people who really get to use Excel. This is a function that ends a lot of misery when people start using it. And there's controversy around it. And I'm gonna talk about that controversy as well. You gotta stick around because VLOOKUP is something you need to know. And we're gonna break it down. You ready? Why use VLOOKUP? VLOOKUP is used when you have data in different locations. And you need to fill in one set of data with information from another set of data. So let's say you have personal information about people, their names, their marital status, their birth date, but their email address is in another data set. Then you need VLOOKUP to pull it together. Let's take that a step further. Let's say you do have these two lists, but they don't match up. You might have a thousand people in one list and then 80 in another and you want to know information about those 80 pulling information from the thousand you can go eyeball that but no hell no hell no that's the universe making you suffer how does vlookup work vlookup has four pieces to it and i describe them this way what are you looking for? Where do you want me to look for it? What do you want me to bring back if I find what you sent me looking for? And then the fourth piece, true or false? False means you're looking for an exact match. V look up with true, that's one thing that has controversy around it. It's described as an approximate match, but it is not. It is not an approximate match. And I have a video on exactly what True does. So check that video out, and we're going to move forward and talk about VLOOKUP, specifically using FALSE. All right, we got two sets of data here. We've got people who applied for a program and a lot of information about them. And we have the people who were plucked from that first data set as candidates. Let's scroll down here and look. So here are the people who applied. Goes down to row 102. The other data set, it goes down to row 32. And here is our challenge. Azalea has been accepted and we want to know what session she requested and her email address. You see the email address is here. The session requested is here. Here we go. Equals VLOOKUP. Open parentheses. Now, lookup value. That's the what do you want me to look for? I want you to look for Azalea, comma. Where do you want me to look for Azalea? I want you to look for Azalea in this applicant column, but I want to you to bring back the email address. So I'm gonna copy this whole range. And we need our absolute cell references, F4, comma. If Azalea is found, what is the column index number? In this case, we want to know what session was requested. That's this final column. That's one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to put five here. 
comma, false because I want an exact match. Close the parentheses. Enter. Azalea wants session B. Double click. Oh, yeah. Now we know Mia was interviewed by Eunice and Mia wants session B and Mia was accepted. And look at this. Felix was not found. That's what that N.A. means is they went looking for Felix. No Felix. Now I'm going to show you something cool about using relative and absolute cell references. I'm going to go to this cell and I'm going to drag the formula over so that I don't have to retype it. Now, the lookup range, that's already set. That's not going to move. But as soon as I move this formula, that B3 is going to go to C3. So I need B to stay where it is. Put a dollar sign in front of that B. Enter. Now I'm going to move this over. Good. Now I've got to change that five because I want the email address. Email address one, two, three. Change that to a three. Oh, Lord. Lord, Lord. Look at that. Look at that. Ha! Yeah. See, we did it. We did it. Now, let me tell you a story. I got a call while I was sitting and having breakfast at Whole Foods in Chicago. And the client says, Oz, is there anything you can do for us? We're trying to match up zip codes and regions. And I've sent my two assistants to a Starbucks for two days and they're not even a quarter through this list of about 2,000 records. Okay? Because they were eyeballing and trying to match it up. No. I had him email me the list while I'm sitting there in the Whole Foods. VLOOKUP allowed me to get that job done in less than an hour. Here we've got transactions, item codes, and quantities. We would like to know the corresponding category that these belong in. And we know it by L28 is computer accessories. A47 is dairy. So we wanna bring that stuff over. But we've got a challenge, you see, don't we? We don't have the ability to look up L28-4023 over here. So we've got to peel that apart. Oh man, oh man, flash feel. I just thought about it. Uh-oh, here we go. Say, prefix. And then I'm gonna say L28. E. Oh, look at what Flash Feel is doing for us. All right, just hit the enter button. Oh, God damn it. See? Mm. Got it. Let's just do a spot check to make sure nothing weird happened. A47. Cool. All the way down to row 166. All right. Yeah. Now we can do our V lookup equals V look up look up what L28 comma look up where here and let's do our absolute reference F4 comma which column do we want? We want the second column, two, and we want false. Oh yeah. yeah. All right, double click. Now 
got what we need. Oh, A47, A47, dairy, right? We got it, we got it. That's what VLOOKUP does for you. All right, so let's put this into tables and see how that looks. Format as table. Oh, let's do something crazy. Let's go this way. All right. Ha. And let's put this into a table. Format as table. All right. There we go. Now, equals V lookup. Lookup value. See, it says prefix instead of e2 comma look up array all right that there and it's saying table 2 comma what do i want i want the second column 2 comma false Oh, there we go. There we go. We got it. And what happens if we name this table? Go over here, boom, design, name it, categories. All right, that's the name of the table. And now look at that. The VLOOKUP is looking at this table's prefix column going over to the categories table, pulling the data from the second column, and we want an exact match. There you go, there you go. Now, how many people spend hours eyeballing, scrolling around, copy and paste and drag and sales? I know I did that for at least two years before I found out about VLOOKUP. So let's talk about some of the controversy around VLOOKUP. One thing is that the VLOOKUP does have to look rightward. You'll see that, say, our prefix column, it was left, and we looked to the right to get our data. You can't have data that you're looking up and then look to the left. Okay, that is a weakness of VLOOKUP. Another weakness is that a lot of them can ruin the uh, performance of your spreadsheet. But that I've seen one time in the over 15 years I've been working with Excel one time and there was many thousands of VLOOKUPs in this spreadsheet. So it's those weaknesses that have people say that VLOOKUP needs to go away and that people should use index match. Well, index match is not a function. Index match is a match function nested inside an index function and they both have their own syntax and when you have to troubleshoot something like that and you're not comfortable with it that will make you crazy it'll make you want to go out in the street and choke somebody so when these people these index match people show up just look at them That's about all you can do. And they might just walk away and leave you in peace. Because the bottom line is this. These are all tools. That's it. Now, some tools do get banned. There was a motorized pogo stick back in the 60s. And that thing was banned. People got hurt using that thing. But VLOOKUP is not a motorized pogo stick. It's a tool that works. And there's no use trying to argue with these index match people. There's something going on with these anti VLOOKUP people. Something that seems quite ungodly. 
So if you see one, just look at them. That's all. All right, there you go. And I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. This kind of flexibility that tables give you, it will help you stay out of trouble. It will help you avoid errors. Because with this one over here, when